guys welcome to this video in this video we are going to read the book called introduction to algorithm it's a third edition this book is all about algorithms and this book will teach you about algorithms and what are the real world uses of algorithms so let's quickly jump to the first chapter of this book this is the first chapter of this book the role of algorithms and computing the chapter starts with the questions is like uh, what are the algorithms why is the study of algorithms worthwhile and what is the role of algorithms related to the other technology used in computer this chapter is actually uh, going to give you the answer of these all uh, important questions why should you learn algorithms? So you will you will know the, the answer of this question in this chapter. This chapter gives you the informal definition of uh, algorithms. It's a computational procedure. Well defined computational procedure. Or we can say a set of instructions. It takes uh, values or set of values as input and after computing it produces value or set of value as output. Something, something, uh, computational procedure or instruction. It takes input and then after computing produce the output. That, that's called algorithms. So an algorithm is such a sequence, a sequence of computational steps that that transform input into output. That is called algorithms. For example, they have given the example shorting. Shorting is the most fundamental uh, problem in computer science. Shorting is like uh, you've given a sequence of number and uh, the computer short it uh, in ascending or descending order. So the techniques, uh, this set of steps uh, which short this, uh, these sequence are called, uh, we can call them as shorting algorithms. So they are, they are because it's a fundamental problem. So there are uh, there are multiple techniques to sort a sequence, multiple, or we can say a multiple algorithms are able to sort inputs. So uh, these uh, multiple algorithms, uh, uh, like uh, insert short, mod short, quick short, there are many. So they all do the same things, but they are these algorithms. Uh, you will see that these are. Uh, different in their characteristics um, and uh, algorithms uh, shorting the, these shorting algorithms actually depends on many factors like uh, the number of items to be short if items are less then some algorithm will take very less time than other and uh, uh, other factors like uh, the extent to which items are already shorted. If uh, this input we have given to algorithms are already shorted, then uh, there are some algorithms don't need to do any work. It will quickly, uh, you know, give you the output. And uh, the, the possible restriction on item values and architecture of computer, these are the factors. Uh, uh, on which algorithms are working of algorithms or uh, the performance of algorithms are, are depend. Then they talk about the correct or incorrect algorithm algorithms, like uh, uh, if uh, the algorithm is, is is a correct algorithm, if it is halting, uh, and it it stops and produce the correct output for each uh, input 
and uh, on a, on the other hand, uh, the algorithm is incorrect. All algorithm, uh, if for some input it, it is not halting, or if 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 it is halting but producing incorrect result. So these, um, uh, if it is producing incorrect result, then the algorithm is incorrect. Now they talk about the, the, the kind of uh, problems uh, which can be solved using algorithms. For example, the human genome project where human DNA is a match using uh, uh, algorithms on internet, uh, you know, data or uh, routes using algorithms, search engine uses algorithms in electronic uh, commerce, uh, and public key cryptography and digital signature uh, uses uh, these are based on numerical algorithms and number theory. Next, uh, in manufacturing and commercial enterprises, uh, allocate their resources efficiently using algorithms and maximize their the profit so these are these are the kind of problems which can which are solved using algorithms uh, next they talk about uh, this important topic called data structure uh, data data structure is uh, actually uh, a way to store or, or organize uh, data so we can access it efficiently so data structure is nothing but uh, a way to store or uh, organize data in order to access it efficiently. We talk about that uh, no single data structure works well for our purpose. So that's why we have different data structures. Uh, we choose different data structure or pick di different data structure depend on our requirements. Next day. They talk about techniques. This book can be used as a as a cookbook, and uh, if uh, you, if you, uh, you encounter a problem for which there 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 is no a uh, published uh, solution or algorithms, so this book will uh, in this case this book book will teach you techniques so that you can you can actually um, design your own algorithms or develop your algorithms using using this technique so you uh, in other words uh, uh, this book will teach you techniques to develop your own uh, algorithms as a solution to your problem Next, they uh, talk about hard problem, very important topic. You know, in computer world, all problem can't be solved efficiently. So there are some, there there are some problems uh, for which you no know, efficient solution available. I mean, uh, and these problems are called and be complete problems. These problems are uh, very interesting because uh, why in, uh, interesting? Because uh, no efficient algorithms for incomplete problems has, has ever been found, and nobody has proven that uh, efficient algorithm for one cannot exist. So, in simple words, uh, no one knows whether or not efficient algorithm exists for an p complete problems. So why you should uh, know about NP complete problems? In case you uh, 
if you encounter with the NP-CMP problem, so if you are you are given a, a problem, which is unfortunately a NP-CMP problem, then you will be spending a lot of time. If you don't know that this problem is NP-CMP, you will be spending a lot of time finding efficient solution for the problem. But if you know that uh, this problem is NP-CMP, then you can prove that this this problem is 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 uh, is then be complete, so there is no efficient uh, uh, solution for for this problem.